Well done. You have successfully completed the Sitting Girls International Spoken ESOL workshop uh, with a focus on fluency. And what you've done is to experience one of the most important features of use of language, fluency, and one of the most difficult to actually teach. We tend as teachers to think that fluency is something which just develops. Um, it's part of language acquisition rather than language learning, which is a distinction we often make in teaching, isn't it? That acquisition is more picking things up and learning is conscious um, focus on specific sub-skills. Fluency is a general aim for many people and it's a very specific part of the assessment in the Spoken ESOL test. It is one of the assessment criteria. And it's interesting to look back on the workshop, and don't forget, we can always do that. The workshop is there as a record, and the workshop is there to show you what things are like from a learner's perspective as well as a teacher's. One of the interesting things to look back on is to see where fluency comes up. Fluency is very much linked to interaction. Fluency is the absence of hesitation which impedes communication. Not complete absence of hesitation. None of us, whatever our first language, would be able to aim at that. But a reasonable degree of hesitation, which doesn't put strain on the interlocutor. Let's remember also that in the spoken ESOL test, there are four different parts. And fluency will come into play very much in part two, Think back to part two in the workshop. The settings are social. Um, it is language used in everyday contexts. Fluency will come up to a certain extent in part three. If you think back to part three, it's where the candidate and the interlocutor are exchanging information or opinions. This will be fluency in terms of interaction. In part four, there'll be a different kind of fluency. It's fluency of the long term. It's discourse management. And as teachers, we can focus on the skills and sub-skills that learners need. Reflect for a moment on some of the games that you played in that workshop. I hope that you had the chance to practice these activities, these tasks with colleagues. If not, you can practice them with your learners in class. But if you think back to them, the games had a specific focus. It was either quick response or it was keeping things going. Fluency of interaction or fluency of production. I've said on the other um, teacher's tips from the individual workshops that it gives us a good opportunity to look at the role of the teacher. And I think when we look at fluency in particular, the role of the teacher is that of facilitator. We've got to make something difficult easy. We've got to set up a task that learners can perform. We've got to play games that they enjoy because we enjoyed playing them. And we've got to reduce the fear factor. We've got to lower the effective filter. The effective filter that makes people afraid to be fluent. So the teacher is not um, in any dictatorial mode in this fluency area. The teacher is somebody who sets up activities which give people the chance to learn and to enjoy learning. Well, I very much that you enjoyed um, doing the fluency workshop, and if so, that the techniques, the ideas, are all things that you can carry forward into your teaching. Thank you very much.